then inflation's a real problem for the restaurant industry. It's, it's across the board, uh, whether it's you know, supply disruptions, you read about Starbucks, you know, and cups and, you know, and, and a lot of different issues around, you know, the, the supply in restaurants in terms of food and beef and uh, cups and whatnot. But more importantly, it's labor. And labor is a significant issue for the industry. Um, and we'll get into that in a second. But you can, a few more slides, slide 12, food at home. Um, this is Daniel's inflation rate, which is coming down significantly. But it makes uh, the restaurant industry less competitive if you can see on the next slide, the food away from home is seeing a significant ramp up in inflation and this is again a problem for the restaurant industry because they can't just constantly raise prices on the consumer and expect demand uh, to increase. Uh, next slide, slide 14, is the spread between the two. And again, this is the competitive nature of, you know, is it is it cheaper to eat at home or away from home? And obviously, it's getting really expensive uh, to eat away from home. You can see this on the next slide in the CPI for meat, poultry, uh, fish, and eggs. Again. Uh, a significant ramp up in inflation. Again, dairy is coming down, as you can see on slide 16. And then uh, aff affecting demand is, is uh, used, I'm just going to use gas prices because it does have uh, the, the, probably the biggest impact on you know, where the bulk of our shorts are, are on the casual dining space, and that's you know, what you're paying at the pump. And if you're on a fixed paycheck and you know, gas becomes a bigger portion of your spending, you're going to eat out less. It's a, eating out is a discretionary item. Uh, and despite the reopening and despite what you see, the news of people wanting to go out and you know, some are calling it the golden age of casual dining. Um, it might be the golden cage of casual dining, but the stocks certainly reflect that. And, and most importantly, um, as I have been alluding to, you begin to see it in the next slide, and that's average check. I mean, just a huge spike uh, in what consumers are paying at the restaurant industry from an average check standpoint. This has a couple things to do with, one, yes, uh, restaurants are raising uh, prices, but two, the checks are just getting bigger. So this is an average check. This is not a price increase. This is you know what people are, are spending more, but it's primarily a, a, a price increase that's driving this. So again, this will hurt demand, and this takes time to hurt demand. So if you think of the inflationary pressures, the costs that the industry has to raise prices, Chipotle's talked about it, in order to protect margins, it's going to hurt demand. And if you look at the next slide, slide 19, uh, this is a forward look into July. On the left-hand side, you can see um, you know, the intent to eat out has been coming down uh, since May, June, and it's going to come down again in July. So this is an intent to eat out. So this is not you know, current trends. This is you know, a survey of people are you can eat out more or less in the next month, and you can see you know, for the next two months or for the past three months, uh, it's been decelerating and in rate of change terms. Uh, that is not a good look for uh, specifically for the casual dining industry. And on the right hand side, you can see by demographic, um, it's actually sort of the younger cohort that is, um, you know, that is really driving, uh, younger to older cohort that is really driving the, um, the decline in, in eating out. Thank you.